Hi! So, here's a fun thing. Um, I have no power in my house right now. It's a great way to start New Year's. Uh, they're trying to get it fixed right now. Apparently a transformer exploded, which is also a very ominous sign for 2019. Uh, so I figured, get out of the house for a while. I was sitting here thinking because I do a lot of my breathing techniques and vocal techniques in my car because it's the one place where I feel like I'm not going to get judged for doing it. Call me quirky. So, and I know I've been getting a lot of messages lately from people who have been wanting to get into voiceover acting and they have a hard time figuring out like how to keep their voice uh, nice and calm because I know when you first start out, it hurts because we all make the same mistakes that when we do when we first start out. We strain our voice because we think louder means better, but really it's, it's not, I mean, it's fun, but it's not really the main technique for voiceover acting. So I figured, if you're going to go that route and ham things up for a bit, that's fine. But let's let's do some techniques so you don't hurt your voice while doing so. So, <clears throat> a lot of the breathing techniques that I do, um, ever since I found out about the vocal damage that I was doing to myself because genetics, uh... I have been looking at singer's techniques, and they actually do help a lot, so I'm going to share some of the ones that I do that are pretty standard, and then we're going to go into the more unorthodox ones, um, mainly because it's weird and it's goofy, but it works. So the first one is pretty standard. Uh, what we're going to do is the lip trills. This one's going to look relatively goofy, but I assure you it actually helps relax your lips a lot so you don't sputter a lot when you're recording. So it's called lip trills. And what you want to do is just like a standard little buzz noise or like a almost like blowing a raspberry, but just with your lips. So try to instead of doing like the hard piece, so it's not you want B. So it's and for singers, you can start doing the scale. So and that really just kind of helps tightens up the lips. So let's do probably about that. Let's do five, five second trills for it. So here's number one. Two. Three. Number four, let's do some scales. <laughs> this is why we warm up. And maybe a little more consistent. Head jazz. Jazz hands. <laughs> so, you feel more relaxed with that. It kind of helps. So you don't sputter a lot. I probably already said that. But it really helps, especially when you start doing like the more hyperactive reads, like that I do half the time on Tumblr reads. It helps keep all the words nice and clear. So it's not like like, vocal meshing, so, like, that whole thing. Um, the next technique uh, is just, this is one of the more weirder ones, uh, and, and it's going to sound weird, like, Pat, you're crazy, you probably played too many Tumblr videos and you're just tired, now go to sleep. It might be true, but it, what it is, is you're just going to do yawns. And what that does is when you're yawning, it actually kind of helps relaxes your throat a little bit, helps get more air in. So you have a little more control, so you're not breathing as much when you're trying to do recordings. Granted, you are still going to breathe, and they can fix that in post, so that's fine. So what you're going to do is you don't want to overdo it, because you clearly don't want to make yourself tired. And this also helps you with, like, stage yawning. So if you have a character that sounds exhausted, and you personally aren't exhausted, it kind of helps seal the deal. <clears throat> And I usually do about five of those. So, I like doing things in five, apparently. <laughs> I don't close my eyes while I'm doing this. I'm just doing this because I'm parked right now. <sighs> nice and calm now. It also kind of helps you mentally, because if you give yourself a full yawn, it lets you kind of reset your brain just a little bit, so it's things look a little bit more clear when you're reading a script, because I know 
When you're a night owl and you have to go in for a script reading at like 10 in the morning, your brain says, no, I don't want to do that, soon. thank you. This kind of helps you reset yourself a little bit. Um, let's see, what's another good technique? The fun one I want to save for dead last. Um, so we'll do another sort of oddball one. Um, <clears throat> that's exactly what we're doing. We're doing light coughs. Um, and what this does, it just kind of helps you prepare for when like, if you feel yourself getting raspy, it just kind of clears you out just a little bit. It helps for a lot of people who have sort of a scratchy voice like I do when I'm tired. And so you're just going to do this. <laughs> you don't have to do the hand motion, but it's just nice because it's polite. <laughs> like you want to feel it in your stomach a little bit when you're doing it. You don't want to go like, <clears throat> like that. That'll hurt. So you just want to do. You do about five of those, or six, just because it's a relatively light one. Now we're going to move on to a really fun one. And this one, I discovered not too long ago. It's goofy. And it doesn't sound like it should work. It totally does. What it is, is uh, it's something that I have learned from... Uh, completely botch his last name. Eric Andreo, I believe is who it is. Uh, he does a lot of uh, methods on YouTube on how to do vocal techniques and vocal breathing and everything like that. So, what are you going to do? It's called the yo-yo technique. And I talked about this recently on Twitter. And it would probably be better to actually demonstrate it in person. So, what are you going to do? Is you're going to put your tongue over your bottom lip. And you're going to do the scales. Or you could just do like regular yo-yos, whatever, if you're just trying to get vocal warm-ups in. So, it's like this. Like that. And then you just go, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, I did that a little wrong because you don't want to use your jaw a lot when you're doing that. It sounds weird because we use our jaw for just about every form of dialogue, but you want to keep it subtle so it's a little more relaxed. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. See? A little easier that way. Um, that one's just fun to do, because I find myself randomly doing songs just in that ya yeah, yeah noise now. Like I was doing Stand Out by Tevin Campbell and that. It's like, yeah, 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 yeah. And surprisingly, it helps clear things up a little bit. Um, <laughs> it's probably one of my new favorite techniques. I'm going to be doing that a lot, and hopefully it picks up because I don't want to, like, go to somebody's studio and be like, what the frick is he doing? It's like, oh, he's just doing the yeah, yes, it's fine. And I'm just sitting there going, ah, yeah, ah. <laughs> See, doing that doesn't hurt as much, you know. Um, so those are just some of the techniques that I have. Um, if you have any breathing techniques yourself you'd like to share for people, comment below. And, um, uh, Hopefully I'll do this in the future, just a little more formally, because probably car setup with the tripod and my phone and me looking like a hot mess right now is not exactly the most formal thing, but hey, blackouts are fun, especially in 2019. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you around in some other video. Bye!